the last two weeks of the season, and business is picking up. 15-lap stadium stocks to start. A.J. Sanders takes the lead immediately. The veteran driver smokes the field, beating Brandon Brendel to the checkers for his seventh win of the season. But a last lap dust up between Justin Owens and Andrew Cates shows this season's frustrations. 20 lapper for the sportsman, 14 year old Riley Neal on the pole, Sterling Clemens outside. Lap one north turn, a huge crash. Kyle Southern rides over Clemens. Zach Orr is involved as well as Amber Lynn. Lap 19, Zach Orr and Amber Lynn have been feuding all season. This isn't going to help. A huge backstretch crash. And then post race shenanigans. Last lap, Riley Neal holds off birthday boy Chase Robertson for his third win of the season. 14 year old Riley Neal is not short of confidence. What has been the secret for you? Um, just my parents and everybody that helps out a lot with this, man. I told you, I was mad you wasn't here last week to video me. I, I made up for it this week. Twin 50 lappers for the mods, Lee Jeffries is fastest qualifier and draws the pole. Lap 14, Josh Cossack runs Brody Jones into the north turn guardrail. Brody Jones none too pleased with Cossack. Lap 32 on a restart, Burt Myers and Lee Jeffries battle for the top spot. Myers clears himself, but probably wasn't clear. Jeffries goes into the turn three wall hard. More cars crash, including Darren Redman, Dan Spini, and Junior Snow. Burt Myers beats back Danny Bone and points leader Tim Brown for his 88th career win at the Madhouse. I knew it was going to be close, and he said clear, and I checked my spot mirror, and I was clear. And when I was on the bottom, I felt contact, which Lee was doing what he needed to do, but I knew I was clear when I came down, and I just held on tight. Double points championship finale next week at Bowman Gray Stadium. Jeff Amernick, WXII, 12 Sports.